Beekeepers are some funny people. Let me tell you why. They're really bad about just regurgitating what someone else told them without ever questioning it. Let me show you something. This is my hive openings on all of my long hives this year. It's about big enough for four bees wide. You can see that I have all the other openings closed off. This hive has over 200 pounds of honey in it right now. This is one of my Langstroth hives. You can see I've got the medium opening on it. There's hardly any bees in the front. It is raining. I don't know if you can tell that or not. We just had a torrential downpour, but it is raining. This hive has over 300 pounds of honey on it right now. Now the thing is, beekeepers like to say, the honey flows on, you need to remove your entrances. You're restricting the bees. It doesn't restrict anything. If you look at what bees do in nature, they have a little tiny 3 8 to 1 inch hole that they go in and out of. That's how they build their feral hives. 3 8 to 1 inch hole on average. We've all seen cutouts from home walls and roofs and trees plumb full of comb and honey. That size of that entrance does not restrict the bees bringing in honey, bringing in nectar, bringing in pollen. What it does do by restricting it, it stops robbing. Quick. Boom. Your robbing issues are solved. It takes way less bees to guard a 4 inch entrance than what it does to guard a 16 inch entrance with that reducer off of the hive. So try it out and see what you think. I'm probably one of the only beekeepers going to tell you this.